Hey everyone, it's Tuesday again. I've been making a lot of really bad, really quick videos lately, and unfortunately this one is no exception because I have way too much to do. I have about 150 pages of this lovely book to memorize by Thursday. I have a math test Friday. I don't know what it's on really. Um, and then just regular homework and stuff. Uh, so I'm a bit rushed here. Today, I'm going to review Sea Change by Amy Friedman. I read it this weekend, I finished it. Um, it's about Miranda. Her grandmother just died. Her grandmother lived on Selkie Island, and there's a lot of myths associated with that island, like sea creatures and monsters and mermaids and things like that. Um, so her grandmother died. And she left her house to Miranda's mother, and she's going to sell it. So now Miranda and her mother go to Selfie Island for the summer to clean out the house and get everything ready, you know. Um, so while she's on Selkie Island, Miranda meets the local people. Um, her mother used to live there as well with the grandmother, so she has friends. Um, so there's that side. And then Miranda meets Leo who's a local um, guy. He works at the museum that Miranda's really interested in. Um, but then she starts to think there might be more to him than there seems, perhaps related to one of the myths. Um, I don't think it's really giving anything away to say that. Um, I think it's pretty obvious from the beginning, or pretty soon anyway. Um, so... Yeah, it was good, I guess. Um, I would give it probably three out of five stars at the most. Um, maybe a little less. It was a really quick read. Um, it was fun, I guess. Maybe I would have liked it better um, when I was younger. I don't know. Maybe. But you should check it out, because you might really like it. You never know. Sea Change by Amy Friedman. The cover is pretty. It's shiny. You can't really tell in there. Um, but yeah, so sea change. Uh, and that's it. Sorry, this is bad, but I need to do other things. Bye.